Look yeah. how little this pincher is. Oh my God. It can't get you. And it's a girl too. Isn't that cool? Do you know how to tell it's a girl? See, see how that looks like a big apron right there? That big. Yeah, hold it like that. There you go. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna show you how I hold it. Do you hold it see where my fingers are? Do like that. We're gonna put them all in the middle here to find out what you guys caught. All right. So I'm gonna collect right, guys, yeah, stick from the you guys. In the oh, you did catch a really big one. They're called Asian Shore crabs. All right. Do you guys remember that now? Oh yeah. All right. So does it sound like they've been in Rhode Island for a very long time? Yeah. If they're Asian shore crabs, you think they've been Where are they from? for a long time? Asian. They're from Asia, right? So if you guys think about, mm, if you look at your, the clothes that you buy, and if you look at the shoes that you buy, where does it say that almost everything is made that China. we get from other countries right China. now? And is China in Asia? Japan. Yes. All right. Hey. So right now, we yeah. trade with Asia a whole lot. So how do you think these Asian shore crabs may have gotten here to Rhode Island? They might have swam. What do you think? They might have swam. Okay, they may have swam, but this crab's pretty small. Do you think the ocean is pretty big? Yeah. So that would take a really, really, really long time and a lot of effort. So they didn't swim here. They got here another way. What do you think? By ships delivering them. Good. So on those same ships, that we get our clothes and we get our shoes and we get our cars, these crabs have been able to stow away on the bottom. And they're not always big crabs like this when they do that. A lot of times they'll be little teeny tiny babies, so small that you might not even be able to see them. Or they might be eggs. So when they come over here, they drop off all the goods on the, off of those big ships and then they also dump out some of the water that came from Asia. And in that water that came from Asia are all the little eggs and all the little teeny tiny babies of these types of crabs. So these Asian shore crabs have only been in Rhode Island for about 15 years. If you were on the shoreline before 15 years ago, we wouldn't have seen this type of crabs. What exactly, um, what exactly are we learning today? Besides how not to fall on our backs on rocks. Right. <laughs> uh, we're hoping for the kids to take away a message that it is important to protect the animals that live in Narragansett Bay. And we always hope that through experiential learning, through mm -hmm. them actually getting their hands on some of these animals and seeing them up close and personal, that they'll take away from that experience that these animals are all out here in the bay all the time and that they are important to protect and important for um, not only the animals that live in the bay but also for people on land. Right, so again, kids to really connect. I mean, these are kids, you, I believe you said earlier, they're not from communities that are on the bay. So they really get to, it's kind of a little treat for them to come down here. Yeah, so what they can do on land definitely influences what happens down here on the bay. And since many of them don't live right on the bay, it's important to get them to see the water as well and to see the bay that's right in the middle of their state.